Go, 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 go. Look, look, you're going to get kicked. Ah. Oh, turn in. She smashes the hips. Kick step. Yes. That's it. Ah. I got a counter. I can defend. You got nothing. Okay. Okay. Get it, get out of here. You got nothing. Your little pip squeak. Oh, okay, okay, tap, tap. There's nothing more embarrassing than tapping to a wrist lock. I cannot. You cannot what? I can't do it. Why can't, what can't you do? What do you look like? <laughs> I'm too chubby and ratchet right now. You're too chubby and ratchet? <laughs> Nobody thinks you're chubby. Not what you said when the camera was off. No, hey, shut up, shut <laughs> Even up. Even Anthony's laughing, shut he's up. like, shut up. Gotcha. All right, all right, look. Gotcha, coach. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, we gotta do a video. Everybody's waiting. Come on. Can you hold the camera? Okay. Okay. All right. Teach me grappling. Let's get up. She's she's on the phone right now. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. They're they're waiting. We got like, you know, thousands of people watching right now all over the world, and this young lady's on the phone. Okay. All right. Here, come on over here. Let me let me entertain you guys. All right. Megan's gonna be coming in. We're gonna show you guys real something real simple, guys. Tonight was the MMA night and we were doing a little bit of uh, striking, uh, passing the guard, and then we combined it with a mount. And what I was thinking was, it's such a simple move, you know, just how to mount, but I thought about it, and so many of our young uh, students here were, were like unaware of how to do this, that, you know, I thought it would be a great lesson for all of you. Um, wherever you guys train, maybe you've been shown how to do this, but. For a lot of you, I'm sure there's a lot of people that haven't been shown the exact little details. Now, you could look at this and go, there's nothing special here, but I want you guys to zero in on some of the details and you'll see that literally, just going from side control to mount, there's something to learn there. So, I think she's ready. She's getting the hair done, getting the hair did. What, why do we, okay, I guess I gotta keep telling you guys <laughs> stories. Um, so we're gonna show you guys a mount and everybody's like, why don't you just cut this? Because I never cut the BS. All right. Okay. So come over here to the front. Um, okay, guys, look. Um, what we did tonight, I'm not going to go into great detail right here, but we're, we're in this position. There's a common, common movement right here. I'm going to control her ankles. I'm going to step forward, and I'm going to twist and throw her leg to the side, and then drop a bomb right to her face. As I drop that bomb, I'm going to fall on top of my opponent, and I land right here in side control, and she would immediately put me in half guard and all that. But let's say, for example, I do land in side control, and now I want to get into the mount because we're in this situation. Could be a MMA fight, could be a street fight, whatever. When I get in this position, look at her hips right now. She's facing up, okay, like this, and. Her next movement is to create frames and then to scoot her hip out and then get her knee in and then get back into the guard. I don't want that to happen. So watch this real simple idea. I've got to get my left hand cross-faced. Very important uh, grip that you're going to see a lot of. I'm going to take my left hand and get it around her neck. And once I do that, I make a grip. A lot of times you're going to see a lock. I'm not going to lock, guys. I'm just going to make a grip. What I'd love to get is the lat muscle right here, the armpit. If I can't reach it, I'll settle for a grip here on the shoulder. I make my pressure with my shoulder and I turn my body sideways like this. Now, just go ahead and go back and look at my butt and my knees, okay? See, my toes are dug in the mat. See, I dig my toes in the mat. I'm not lazy like this. I'm not, I'm not, uh, sitting on my butt like this, okay? I'm, I'm here and I'm putting pressure. Now, this right knee, come on around, is making contact with her legs. Now, her foot right here 
if she's good, she'll position her foot over here and that'll help give her pressure against me when I try to move her legs. That's good for her. Now in the fight, watch how I lower my shoulder and my chest. I lower, she could be pushing me, but I'm smashing like this. I'm shifting weight on top of her rather than here. She can feel everything I'm doing right now. Right now, there's no pressure with my shoulder. The weight is on my left elbow. And there's a little bit of weight on my left butt cheek. Now watch, when I push off my toes, she feels, try to push me. See, as she tries to scoot, now watch guys, I can attack like this by pushing against her leg and I'm gonna walk until I kill her hips and her hips get destroyed. During this time, as you're pushing against her so she can't strike you, you don't want somebody hammer fist and hitting your face, okay? So I'm gonna lean my head against her so there's no distance to strike. At the same time, I can strike her. That puts her into passivity. That puts her into this balled up fetal position, which is what I want. Now that I'm here, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start pushing her legs and then watch the simple movement. My right leg steps. When I do it, my step will step right over with my heel in tight. Look at how my body did not move. I don't do this. This is what I see from beginners all the time. They go, they go to the mountain and it works on another beginner. It looks like this. And then the person just rolls towards their back. No, no, just go to your back. And it works. And then in the street fight, boom, 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 and it's, the fight's over. Now that will work for you on a basic level, but you want to elevate your skills. So watch what I'm doing. I'm not, she's not just turning into me right now. So that what happens is, if you guys understand, you're on top of her, she's facing up, you're trying to mount, and what is these legs gonna do? They're gonna capture your leg. So watch what I do. I run myself into her like this. Now her legs would like, see there's thigh pressure right here against her butt, so she can't really move her legs very good. As I'm hitting, you know, and we're here, and I'm controlling the wrist, and I'm hitting, and we're pushing the legs. Now watch my leg. I don't mount like this, because she'll capture the half guard, and then she'll suck you back into a half guard, go like from quarter guard to half guard. So watch how I do this. Very simple, watch my body. I just move my leg. That's it. Okay, she may try to block with her hand. And now my heel goes inside. She tries to push, tries to push and trip. It's very hard. I control her wrist. I underhook her elbow as I'm driving my heel digging. See my right heel dig. I'm walking this arm up. Okay, getting into a nice tight mount into the crossed ankle position, not letting her move getting my head to here for the arm triangle. Punching into the rib cage, trying to do some damage, you know, making my opponent turn their back, you know, so that I can adjust and then eventually down the road, get to a seat belt or a gift wrap and then eventually take the back or do more damage here, okay? So, one more time. Not going into great detail with this technique, Boom, I land in side control. Notice how she turned towards me. She wants to do that so she can frame and escape. Yeah, go ahead. That's what she wants. So what do you have to do? She's turning towards me. I drop my hip and you see, now I've got her at least not turning towards me. See how I occupy the space here and now she may be trying, I could grab that foot, pull on it, even grab the toes here. She may kick her leg and I smash her hips. I dominate, I keep striking, I'm frustrating the person, okay? As I do this, I'm pushing the legs and my leg goes, not my hips, not my body like this, where she's gonna get you in half guard if she's skilled at jujitsu. Instead, I dominate like this, here. See that, control the wrist, throw your heel over. She tries to defend it. My knee is on the backside, so she can't shrimp. Go around the backside. My knee is here, see? So she can't shrimp. And now, as I, she's trying to push, 
I drive my heel, I pull the wrist, I underhook, and I'm, I'm not letting her trap my arm, try to trap my arm. I walk it out as I dig my heels in, and I've got good pressure. That way now we can attack here, strike, or we can get our arm triangle and finish our job, okay? So watch Megan. Megan's actually really good at this. You like this, don't you? Like smashing people, okay? When the little people like to smash. Give me, give me that little strike right there to get to side control. Right here, she's gonna go hips. Remember guys, don't lean over. Here, come on back, very nice. Don't lean over so you don't get kicked in the face. That's okay, I'll lean back a little. I didn't talk a lot about the details, but go ahead, arch back, and then now she deflects and throws the strike, boom. She drops down. Now I turn into her, she tries to push me like this, into passivity. Notice, when she does this, her left hand's around my neck, making a grip. During this time, right now I know my right arm is kind of like this, she may look for gift wraps and such, you know, but the point being, now she freed up her right hand. She's freed it up to kind of like, just kind of rabbit punch me with stuff. You know, now as I try to turn in, go ahead and allow me. When I turn in, she's cross-facing me, okay? Now look, my hand is here now. So I'm not in gift wrap territory. But now the shoulder smash. And now I, I'm trying, she walks into me. Now look, you guys see how, look at the position. I'm stuck right here. And then now she can push at the legs, push them down, yeah? And then now I'm trying to get you in exactly, she just steps over. Notice her body doesn't change. Don't change your body at all, just push. And I'll, see, even I, look at that, that's fine. That was beautiful. Do it again. Even if I were to block your leg, go. And I, oh man, you, you still got in. She's too good at, at this. Go back, go back, go back. I'm gonna try to block you, you ready? Go. And then she gets it in. Now drive and get the underhook. Oh my God, okay. And then, go ahead. Finish how you like. Oh, okay. All right, and yeah, go ahead. Is that all? Okay, that's it. Is that all you have, Megan? Do you want to do it again or no? Okay. One last time, go. How long is the video so far? 11.45. Oh my goodness, way too long. Everybody's so gonna get mad. Go, 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 go. Look, look, you're gonna get kicked in the ah. oh, Turn in. She smashes the hips. Big step, yes. That's it. Ah. I got a cut off. I can defend. You got nothing. Okay. Okay. You gotta get out of here. You got nothing, you little pip squeak. Oh, okay, okay, tap, tap. There's nothing more embarrassing than tapping to a wrist lock. No, no, just kidding, just kidding. All right, Megan, get in here, come on. Say goodbye to everybody. Everybody likes, uh, likes Megan, so um, say goodbye. I got your hair on me. Teach me grappling, please click the link down below at Patreon and PayPal. Support this channel, contribute to this channel. If this technique helped you, please drop a contribution and I'll see you guys next time for more. Tomorrow I'll be back. Later, thank you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs>